Thank you for joining us today, Alan. Um, Alan Neville is our Customer and Community Engagement Manager and yesterday attended a, a Let's Talk event at Ware Station uh, where passengers were able to meet managers to talk about the um, upcoming work uh, near Broxbourne that's going to affect um, train services. Um, thank you, Alan, for being here. You're going to go over some of the um, questions that were asked at that event um, just to help people um, get a little bit more information um, so that they can plan their journeys. Um, what is the work that's being done and why is it needed? Um, so there's essential work um, needed to the um, central spans of Nasing Road, New Road Bridge. Um, this is a bridge that's situated uh, just south of Broxbourne Station and our colleagues from Network Rail have discovered on their inspections that there is some important work to do on that and um, uh, they've uh, collaborated with us um, along the way um, in order to ascertain a time period um, when this work could take place. It's important for me to stress that it is a massive project. It's a project that's actually closed um, uh, roads in, in the environs of the bridge um, and uh, it's work that will see this road closed from the 3rd of January. So work that's already started there until the 30th of April of this year. But the actual period that affects um, our train service uh, will be that period uh, Friday um, the 13th um, through till the following uh, Thursday when we see the resumption of the train service. And how will this affect train services? We are sorry that this means that during the period of the blockade, there will be no direct train services between London Liverpool Street, Hartford East, Cambridge and Stansted Airport for six days. The period will stretch from Friday the 13th to Wednesday the 18th of January inclusive. And during that period, train services will be suspended at Roxbourne and a very limited rail replacement service will operate. Unfortunately, the work means that there will be no uh, bus replacement services or train services on the Hartford East line um, for the six days um, when we are unable to run those direct services. Um, can you explain why this is, please? We are very sorry that we cannot uh, supply rail replacement coaches and buses um, on the on the branch line to Hartford. Although we've got a very, very large pool of um, bus operators, coach operators who do work for our rail replacement arm of the business. Um, unfortunately, we cannot get the number of coach and bus drivers um, during that period uh, to help us. And the reasons are twofold. One, that there is actually a UK wide shortage of uh, bus and coach drivers. And, and secondly, because obviously it's a period when uh, schools and businesses are operating and lots and lots of um, bus drivers and buses and coaches are employed on the, the school runs. So we would advise our customers to travel um, via Hartford North uh, for services into Moorgate and by changing on route for services into King's Cross and St Pancras. Will Greater Anglia tickets be accepted on other services? Um, yes, absolutely. We have got to ticket validity on other routes. So anyone who's travelling on the on the Hartford East line itself from either Rye House, St Margaret's or Ware stations can actually use um, Hartford North station um, itself. And there will be ticket validity uh, for our customers on that route into Moorgate and Kings Cross and St Pancras. And will they be able to use their Greater Anglia tickets on local bus services? Um, no, unfortunately not. No, um, we've we've tried to get um, uh, we've tried to get the routing on uh, local bus services, but unfortunately they're um, already uh, very busy with their own uh, passengers. So unfortunately we've not uh, we've not managed to do that. We've not managed to get ticket um, acceptance on those services. However, uh, anyone who wishes, uh, for example, from where where there is a bus service uh, leaves from near the station uh, to Hartford North. Uh, Passengers will be able to um, to use that uh, that local service uh, and pay on, on the bus for that. Is there anything else that people need to know uh, about what's happening during this work? Yes. Um, so in terms of car parks, uh, we have got some car, uh, car park closures um, in addition. St Margaret's, where Sawbridge and Harlow Mill car parks. Uh, and again, we would ask our customers to refer to the um, to the website for details. Uh, for customers who have already bought their ticket um, but now don't want to travel or can't travel because of these works, what should they do? 
we would advise um, anyone in a situation whereby they need to ask that question to actually contact our customer contact centre. And when are services due to return to normal? Services are due to return to normal on the Thursday, the 19th of January. Um, that is a date which we've um, given to our customers, and that is the date when we expect the works to be complete. And finally, Alan, where can people go to get more information about this work? We would advise people um, to go to our website. Uh, we've ensured that this information is on the, the front page of the website. Um, our contact centre, as I say, have been briefed about um, the work that is taking place. And we've got posters and informational material on our stations. And uh, we'll put that link in this post and you can follow that uh, to get more information. Um, Alan, I'd like to thank you very much um, for being here to explain a bit more about the works. And if people have any more questions, um, they can leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. Thank you. Thank you.